Hi, I'm Keith Nothaker. I'm the founder and CEO of Backtrack. Backtrack designs and sells breath alcohol testers for personal and professional use. We sell to consumers for personal use as well as to businesses, schools, clinics, hospitals, even law enforcement and, and even to the military. Uh, we have mass market through a number of national retail resellers like Target, Best Buy, Costco, Walgreens. Uh, we're based in San Francisco. We have 13 employees and we've been around for about 14 years. So with our breath test devices, when, when we thought about the uh, wearable biosensor challenge, with the breath test, they're great at giving you one point in time. So you blow into it, and typically the, the, the process of getting a breath test takes about 30 seconds. There's a warm-up time for the device. You blow through it anywhere from you know, 3 to 10 seconds, and then there's an analysis period. So to get one BAC point, you're, you're really taking about 30 seconds. So we considered that, and um, then when we moved and looked at some of the transdermal devices on the market, a lot of potential there. That, that's, there's a lot of exciting potential because it's non-invasive. Uh, you can collect a ton of data points uh, in real time and it's passive for the user. So instead of 30 seconds per test, you can collect a test very frequently. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later. So the, the downside, what we saw in current devices on the market is that uh, they are big, they're bulky, they, you know, it's like a ball and chain on your ankle for some of those criminal, uh, criminal monitoring devices there. So we, we thought there was potential, but sort of we wanted to shift the paradigm so it was something that potentially people would want to wear. What if we made something that instead of being uh, clearly marked as, hey, I have a problem, look at me, what if we said, let's make this cool. Let's make this something that people want to wear. And so what we tried to do is we tried to miniaturize the technology. We looked at a lot of different places on the body to uh, have a sensor. So we explored ways of making a clip that would clip in sort of on your side uh, underneath your clothes. We looked at putting something in a sock so it just became part of your everyday routine, pulling on a sock. But uh, we kept coming back to this one spot after all of our testing that first had the best user experience in terms of using the device. And number two actually led to the best real-time monitoring. So it was closest um, from our testing to approximate a blood alcohol content. Minimal time between when you drink to when we'd actually get the results. So um, what we have here and what I'm about to show to you is our prototype. This is the first time we're showing the world our transdermal alcohol sensing prototype. Uh, we've called it Backtrack Skin as our code name, S-K-Y-N. And so I'm going to show you here. So it just goes on the wrist. And let me rotate this up here. So really not much different than a wearable, like a Fitbit or Jawbone or Apple Watch. People are used to wearing a device on their wrist. And really, that's cool now. People want to wear this. And we thought that we could reach tens of millions of people, potentially, uh, to measure alcohol level if we made something that was cool and exciting and really opens up just entirely new markets versus the older technologies that we saw on the market. So uh, this is curved, fits here very clearly. Uh, there's a latch on the bottom that will protect the sensor when it's not in use or expose charging for a USB charger. Uh, and we've really worked hard to create an entirely new sensor that's much, much smaller. So I have Backtrack Skin right here and we're gonna talk through some of the hardware features. Now, if you flip it over, very nondescript on, on this side right here. It seems like any other wearable, and that's what we wanted. We wanted this to uh, not be like a ball and chain, but something that people could wear and, and feel good about. So uh, similar to any other wearable device. I flip it back over and exposing the underside here and showing some of the technology. This switch here, I can flip down and expose the sensor. So that's our miniaturized sensor that we actually shrunk down specifically for this prototype and, and for what we're designing here. Um, this is going to expose the sensor and then when you move it back up, uh, that's going to protect the sensor from water loss and then also expose the charging pins because this is rechargeable. It uses a micro USB uh, rechargeable slot. So uh, what I can do is show you this just plugs right in right here. Um, and then this micro USB charger, boom, right there. Very easy. Most people have access or already have a, a micro USB. So there's a power button right here. I'm going to press it down. You can see that blue LED came on. That means it is powered off. 
And if I just do that again real quick, that green light, this is powered back on. Right here we have a proximity sensor. So when it is on your wrist, it can tell that it's on your wrist and should be taking the continuous real-time readings. Uh, when it's off your wrist, then it will know that it's off your wrist because of that proximity sensor and uh, it can reduce the frequency of tests, thus saving battery. So um, uses, we have a, a Bluetooth chip in here, Bluetooth low energy, so that's gonna be sending the results over to the uh, phone and we can talk about some of the software features now. So I have the device on, I'm wearing it on my wrist, and uh, the Bluetooth is sending my raw alcohol data to the smartphone. So this is working right now. I'm gonna go in here and go into the Backtrack Skin app, and you're gonna see here is the data on a chart and with the raw readings below that I can scroll through. So on the y-axis here, it's the raw alcohol values, and time is obviously on the x-axis here. Um, you'll see in these results, we have date, time, we have the raw alcohol number, and we have the temperature. There's a temperature sensor in here. Let me go back to sessions, and I can see any session where you can start and stop a session where you want to record data. You can access that unique session. I'm going to click on device. I'm going to go to device settings here. So you see alcohol lower bound and alcohol upper bound. These are gonna be the calibration points. This is how we're gonna convert the raw alcohol data to a blood alcohol content result. Below that, we have the sample rate. So this is adjustable. I can click up to sample every 10 seconds. I had it set to sample from me every two seconds. I'm gonna leave it at that. The average number of samples, if I were sampling uh, one every second, I could average it over 30 seconds, so you just get one average value to have a more uh, a smoother curve. Let me go back out here to sessions, and I'm gonna go to our current session. This is my current session reading me every two seconds. It's gonna update on this screen every 30 seconds. We have it set right now, so it takes a sample every two seconds, and then every 30 seconds, it's gonna update this graph and update this chart here. Now, if I click save, uh, we have just populated in send to doctor as an example. It could be anything and then export. I can click export and I can copy it to clipboard. I can take all this data. I can email it to myself. That's, that's how you get it out uh, currently and I can get it into Excel or some other data program that way. So I'm going to cancel, go back, go to sessions, device. There's the battery level. There's the water level. Uh, there's a water reservoir in here that is needed for the sensor. So we have that, that type of diagnostic data. Um, so really, that's, that's the overview of how this prototype app works, showing some of the capabilities. So one of the things that we wanted to show is that Backtrack has a portfolio of different products uh, that all have features that are, that are very relevant to Backtrack skin. So let me just open up our main Backtrack app right here. This works with our two smartphone breathalyzer products. And with this app, you can come in and you can see your entire history. This is my history going back to 2013. So all this data is in the cloud. Uh, people have user accounts. And we can apply this same set work, set up very easily with the Backtrack skin test results. Let me jump over to Apple Health. This is Apple's health app where you can aggregate all types of health data from various devices. You can enter it manually yourself. And so looking here, at, right here at this screen, this has blood alcohol content. That's one of the fields that Apple included in Apple Health. So uh, Backtrack Mobile, this device right here, I can pull in my data from this device in our app into Apple Health and then the advantage there is you get your blood alcohol content data. You can see your fitness data, your BMI. You can really take a holistic look at your entire health data, which we think is extremely exciting with Backtrack Skin, where you're getting continuous blood alcohol content readings. And then if you're also able to pull in other information, fitness data, health data, information from your doctor and have it all in this one place, that's very, very powerful. So we're very excited to uh, integrate Backtrack Skin like we've already done with our other products. And then finally, let me jump over to a new app. This is not public yet, but again, showing off some of Backtrack's capabilities that we do plan to integrate with Backtrack Skin. So Backtrack View right here, this is a remote monitoring application that uses the video camera in the smartphone. So currently it works with Backtrack Mobile. 
and you can take a video of yourself blowing into the device and the video as proof that it's you gets transferred to somebody else. So a parent could track a child, a doctor could monitor a patient remotely. So this technology, this core technology that we've already created, this also applies to Backtrack Skin as another way to verify, to uniquely verify the identity of the user. So if you did want to uh, send a note to a user saying, hey, make sure that's you wearing Backtrack Skin right now. In real time, somebody else can press a button on their smartphone and then there's a notification through Backtrack View to take a test. Uh, in this case, it could just be showing Backtrack Skin and getting a video of yourself with it. So we wanted to show these other capabilities that we have that are gonna get integrated into one unified portfolio of products. So now we're going to do some real-time testing. I'm going to be drinking alcohol. It's going to send my results from the prototype to the prototype app here, and we're going to get to follow the results. So I have a glass here. This is 50% gin, 50% tonic. So I'm going to do a quick cheers here and just do some drinking. So that is Backtrack Skin. We are very excited to submit the prototype, the app, the data, everything we have to the Alcohol Biosensor Challenge. We can't wait to see the feedback.